Hi, this is Joseph Ferro, I'm reporting for The Estate and you're tuned into the lifestyle segment. And I'm gonna learn a little bit more about men's tailoring today. And when it comes to men's tailoring in the UK, there's no other place to be than Savile Row. So that's exactly where I am. I'm on Savile Row right now and you've got some amazing, amazing brands. Brands such as Oswald Boltang, brands such as uh, Richard James, Geeves and Hawks, uh, just to name a few. But I'm here to meet a man who needs no introduction. He's been in this environment for the last 12 years and he's been a master tailor for more than 35 years, dressing some of the best dressed people on the planet and some of the wealthiest as well. So I'm here to meet a gentleman by the name of Ray Stowers. We're actually at Stowers, which is number 13 Savile Road. So we're gonna see a little bit more about why he's synonymous with luxury and why he's synonymous with men's tailoring. I don't wanna go on too much. So let's pop inside, let's have a conversation with Ray and let's get up close and personal and see what it is to be a master craftsman when it comes to men's tailoring in the UK. I was brought up in an era where people dressed correctly. So um, I'm from a big family. So my dad, my uncles, my brothers, people wore suits, shirts and ties just as a matter of course. I've always liked clothing and I've always uh, liked to dress well. So really that's, that's where it comes from. The desirable jobs were always the cutting jobs. So your customer facing. The tailoring jobs were, if you like, the lower end of the of the uh, spectrum. Depending on your status, your lifestyle, we put together a wardrobe that befits you and your life, if you like. So whether you're a king, you get this. We make you morning suits, dinner suits, whatever. It's a totally open service. Um, and uh, that, if you like, is our strong point. And my main selling point is that we don't say no to people and we get it made. So this is gold embroidery. It's all done by hand. Um, and you see, this is, I think, probably about 30 years old. This is a flannel suit, three piece, nice um, racing green lining. Everything we do is made to last. So part of our service is making things bigger, smaller, servicing. So that is part of what we do. It's a service. Again, giving this open book policy to a customer where they can have anything and everything, we use exotic skin. So examples, ostrich, we make jackets and actually sometimes skirts for ladies, jackets. And crocodile, snakes, so python, etc. This is coloured to the customer's specification. So it's not that, obviously that's not a natural colour, blue snake, but um, the colouring is to the customer's liking. So that can be green, it can be blue, it can be orange. The same with ostrich. We work very differently from the other shops in that we do unconstructed garments, constructed garments, and garments with no, just literally, lining and fabric. I've designed uniforms for them, chiefs of regions, etc. Ghana supplied a lot to the Navy, designed caps and badges, etc. Same in Nigeria. Uh, in Nigeria, some of the you know, ruling people, Kenya, um, even places like Rwanda, being honest, uh, yeah, across the board, North Africa, Morocco, etc. Dealing with the royal family there. Yeah, it's quite sort of widespread, as well as individual people. We, we take young people. Um, in my previous jobs, I've taken a lot of young people on over the years. People will teach you if you're interested. People will teach you if you put in the time, the effort, and you're willing to work hard, you'll learn. You're going to be training for five, seven years before you start really earning any proper money. So there's got to be a bit of dedication there as well. It's, it's, it's a humbleness. Basically, you have to work hard. 
respect your elders, learn and listen from them. It's, it's quite basic sort of old-fashioned principles really.